Croix were on the back of three consecutive losses. During that run, Jean-Louis Garcia's men had conceded seven goals and scored only one and occupied the playoff place to stay in the French elite. Christophe Galtier, newly appointed as Lille's manager, had witnessed a win and a loss from the bench. Lille remained in trouble, just one point above the bottom three. As the referee kicked us off, it was the home side who started on the front foot. Adam and Jan getting in good position, pivoting well and chanting his luck from range. But it went just over the bar. Mike Menon guiding it over his crossbar. Lille responded and could have opened the score themselves. They kept possession well, making sure the ball found its way to Nicolas Pep, who was unmarked, but his shot flew off target. Bad miss. Lille striker should have done much better. Off balance, and his shot went up. Right before half time, Trois found the opening after Damanian turned the ball in from a phenomenal Mathieu de Blen cross. A well worked goal. Good movement and what a finish. Blast it into the top corner. Mignon, no chance in goal for Lille. Half time then with Trois leading. After Nyan's finish, Lille still in trouble, knowing they would have to play a lot better if they wanted to get something out of the match. And they came out of the starting blocks in the second half. Much better, Pep once again involved. Traore claiming the ball had crossed the line for a goal kick. The replay show, the defender's right. Traore who was involved shortly afterwards, as he then chanced his luck from range, but it was a tame shot, easily dealt with. Lille kept on coming, looking for that equalising goal. This time, Fabien Balouli forcing Zelazny to make the save, but he should have scored. He does well to get away from two to three Trois defenders. Clear on goal, but it is Trois who leapfrog Lille and move up into 15th place. Lille moved down and now sit in 18th. Galtier's men play Strasbourg twice in the next week in the Cup and then in the Championship.